How's it going YouTube? I'm Landon Dallitzing and welcome back to a brand new most amazing top 10 video. If you guys haven't already, go check me out on Instagram at Landon Productions. I'm going to try to follow back as many people as possible. Maybe the first 100 people that follow me, let me know in any picture, put hashtag follow back and I'll try to follow you guys back. Okay, so prisons are supposed to keep convicted criminals securely locked up. However, even maximum security prisons, well they have inmates breaking out all of the time. Some of the breakout plans are meticulously planned for years while others are spur of the moment. So why would you break out spur of the moment? Regardless of how they escape, it is still absolutely insane that anyone is able to reach freedom while being locked up and closely monitored. So this is the top 10 insane prison escapes. Breaking out in at number 10, we have the helicopter escape. I mean, that just sounds insane already. This is something that I thought only happened in movies. Well, take a look at this. This video shows two men attempted to climb up the rope in order to get onto the roof where the helicopter was waiting. There were two other accomplices in the helicopter who were armed and hijacked the helicopter and forced the pilot to fly to the jail. Eventually, the helicopter takes off with the two inmates attached to the rope and it flew away. A few hours later, however, police arrested these two inmates and now they're looking at a pretty long sentence. Escaping in at number 9 is Daniel Luther Heese. He was sentenced to life behind bars because he was convicted of murdering another man. Well, he was able to escape from jail by making a replica of the master key. He memorized the shape of the key after seeing it on a prison officer's belt, but the prison also had a booklet that they handed out to the prisoners that had a picture of the key on the freaking cover. I think whoever put that image on the booklet must have been fired because what a damn mistake. So Daniel and his cellmate used this key to escape to prison. They jumped over three sets of razor wire fences and they were on the run for 12 days before being captured. Threatening his way with a wooden gun comes into number eight. John Dillinger was on a year long criminal spree where he and his gang robbed a dozen banks and a few police stations as well, killing 10 men in the process. He was finally arrested and he was brought to Lake County Jail in Indiana. At the time, the jail was deemed escape proof, but John Dillinger changed that. On March 3rd, 1934, he escaped with another inmate by using a fake gun that he carved out of wood and he blackened it with shoe polish. They used this gun to force their way out and they took the sheriff's new V8 Ford as their escape car. Later that year, FBI agents shot John Dillinger in Chicago. Now at number 7, we're talking about the Parkhurst escape. Three inmates were able to escape from a maximum security prison that was on the Isle of Wright. They made keys to every door and apparently, they were able to replicate each key by using their sight and memories alone. They unlocked the door to the outside and used a 25 foot ladder they made to get over the wall of the prison. One of the inmates was a pilot so the plan was to steal a plane and fly away. However, the only plane they can find wasn't big enough and there wasn't a key so they were just found shortly after their escape. Yoshi Shiratori escapes his way into number 6. He was originally arrested in 1933 for a murder and robbery. In 1936, he escaped from prison by using a wire to pick his handcuffs off. He was later captured and sentenced to life imprisonment. In 1942, he escaped again by passing through the ceiling air vents, but then he was captured two years later. Again in 1944, he escaped, but this time he used miso soup to rust and weaken his handcuff, and then he was able to escape. And he was free for another two years, but then he was arrested and sentenced to death after he murdered a man while he was on the run. Well, believe it or not, but he sawed through his cell's floorboards with a sharpened piece of metal sheet, and he dug his way out with a bull. The Texas 7 ironically made it into this list at number 5. This group of 7 inmates miraculously escaped from a maximum security prison by a series of planned events. First they pretended they wanted to work through their lunch hour, so they lured prison guards to a deserted maintenance area and then they hit them on the back of the head with an axe handle. Some of the prisoners put on the guards uniforms and stormed the tower in order to steal some weapons. They then phoned to the other guards to create a diversion. The others dressed in civilian clothes and then they pretended that they were there to install security cameras. Once the area was clear, they stole a maintenance pickup truck, they picked up the other guys from the guards towers and they drove off into the sunset. Impersonating his way into number 4, catch me if you can, Frank Abigail is a notorious con man who escaped from a federal detention center in Atlanta, Georgia in 1971. He convinced the prison guards that he was a prison inspector and not a prisoner. He worked with an accomplice on the outside to convince the guards that he was actually just an undercover prison inspector posing as an inmate who was just there to spy on the guard. Over the next couple of weeks he built up his fake alibi until the guards trusted him enough to meet his accomplice outside of the prison walls. Needless to 
say, once they let him out of the prison, he never returned. He was able to run from the police for two months before he was arrested in Washington, D.C. The notorious El Chapo digs its way into number three. The world's most infamous drug lord escaped from a high security prison in Mexico back 2015. He disappeared into a hole that was in his cell shower and he escaped through a mile long tunnel to freedom. The tunnel was very sophisticated because it had lighting, ventilation, and it even had a modified motorcycle on tracks. It was estimated that the escape plan cost about $50 million, which included briberies and construction, and the escape route was placed in a blind spot of the cell, which leads investigators to believe some of the prison guards must have been in on it. The great escape from Stalag Luf III, prisoner of a war camp, makes its way into number two. In January of 1943, Roger Bushell was the mastermind behind this epic escape. The plan was to dig three deep tunnels that were about 30 feet deep and each of the tunnel entrances were carefully selected to ensure that they wouldn't be detected by the prison guards. As the tunnels grew longer, a pump was built to push fresh air into the tunnels and electrical lighting was installed and it was hooked into the prison's electrical grid. They also built a small rail car system for moving sand more quickly out of the tunnel. So finally on March 24th, 1943, the escape attempt was underway and 76 prisoners crawled their way to freedom. However, out of the 76 men, three escaped, 50 men were killed, and the rest were captured and sent back. Finally, in at number one, the escape from Alcatraz. This is an infamous prison that was dubbed as America's escape proof prison. The jail was located on an island and it had some of America's worst criminals locked up behind bars. But on July the 11th, 1962, three men escaped. They made heads out of soap, toilet paper, and real hair, and they put them on their beds to fool the correctional officers. They quickly dug a tunnel that led them to an unused corridor. This took over a year to complete. They climbed the ventilation shaft and reached the roof where they climbed down and scaled a fence. They made a raft that was made out of raincoats and contact cement. The FBI never found any trace of the men on Alcatraz on any nearby islands when they escaped. After a 17 year investigation, the FBI concluded that the three men must have drowned in the bay, but the bodies were never found either. So who knows what ever happened to them? Well, there you guys have it. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys very soon in a new most amazing top 10 video. <laughs>